Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be focusing on the colour blue, which is really exciting. It's my favourite colour, so I've kind of got an idea to do this dripping wet fantasy, but we'll kind of see how it goes. I'm also wearing blue, got to keep with the theme that I'm continuing to try and do here. Uh, and also I'm going to try a few new things today. I've got some new products, I've got some brush, uh, a brush set from Jacqueline Hill. Um, got this Revolution Ice Palette, so we're gonna have a bit of a play and experiment. I'm even gonna try and tape my face up a little bit. Who knows, we'll see how it goes, but yeah. So if you wanna stick around and see what's gonna happen, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I have covered my brows, glued down my sideburns. Also, I'm gonna try this new camera angle because a little bit further away, just so you can see a bit more and then bring you in closer. But anyway, let's continue. What I'm going to do now is get some water-based spirit gum, stick it on my temples, and then, using some tape, <laughs> try and stick it down and pull it back. I'm literally going based off what I've seen on other queens doing king and kings in their videos, so let's give it a go and see what happens. It's all about trying new things. Let's do this. I don't actually know if that actually done anything because my face looks identical, but I don't know. It's done now, so let's carry on as normal. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the top half of my face first. So the usual base. It's gonna be interesting trying to paint over these now, which I've never had to do before, but we'll see how that goes. And yeah, then we'll just crack straight on with the eye. Please excuse this awful spot. My skin's not going through a good spot at the moment. Spot, 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 spot. I've also got a bit of shaving rash, which I'm gonna try and shush up and clean up. So I think first things first, color correct the face, and then we'll go in with the foundations. I'm gonna go in my usual trusted TV paint sticks. I'm actually gonna go in with a brush and a sponge this time. And the brush I'm gonna use for my foundation is by Unicorn Cosmetics. Hold that thought. I forgot to prime. What I'm going to do is actually paint on my brows now. I'm going to try and paint it on in some cream first before I powder the top of my head. Um, once I've got my eyebrows lined out, I think then I'll have a better idea of how I want to do my contour on my forehead as well. So I'm going to do that and then we'll keep cracking on. So to draw on my eyebrows, just to kind of see how they're going to go, I'm going to do a mixture of two things. I'm going to go in with a light blue um, eyeliner pencil. Uh, and also I'm going to go in with a cream liner from Chronicle Turquoise Breeze.
So I'm going to do the clean up and the contour off camera and I'll be right back. So this looks very drastic, a lot's happened. I've kind of put the rest of my foundation on and really went in with my powder puff to really set everything because I know we've put quite a lot of cream layers on already. The contour today, I used something a little bit different. I went in with some cool tones from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette, contour cream palette. And I kind of went in for a mixture of these, but primarily this one on the far end here is it was really cool. I think it's going to work well with the blue tones that's going to come into the whole look eventually. I have recently just purchased the Jack and Hill Cosmetics Complexion Face Brush Set. And in there, what you have, you've got a bronzer brush, which is super fluffy and soft. We have a foundation brush, which I haven't actually used this time. I will try that in another video. Uh, we have a blusher brush. We have an under eye powder, which obviously I haven't used today, but can use it in another video. And this baby mini highlight brush. So these three brushes, I'm going to give them a try out today. They are very, very soft, so we'll see how they go. But yeah, um, now I've kind of done all this, I'm going to dust off this excess with my just regular powder brush and then I'm going to go in with all of my bronzer, blusher and highlight before we crack on with the eyes. Yes. For contour today, I'm going to go in with my trusted NYX palette, NYX contour palette, and I'm going to go in with this really deep shade just at the far tips here. I want to uh, really sink this part of my face in before I buff and bronze everything out to make it a little bit warmer. And I'm using this on a Morphe brush which I got in a face set. It doesn't have a number or a name on it, but yeah, it's this kind of really thick, fat, tapered. For blush, I'm going to dip into my Revolution Peachy Coral Tones and I'm going to use the brand new Jack and Hill JH04 brush as the kind of blusher and do a mixture of these top three here. She's down, she's set. I found with that brush, the best thing to do is kind of pack in, pack in the colour first before buffing and blending. Bronze, let's bronze this bitch up, yes. As always, this bronze is just a really nice go-to because it just adds warmth to a lot of things. I'm gonna go with the Kiko Summer Collection Bronzer in the shade Ocean Feel Perfect Tan. Big, giant bronzer brush. Let me see if I just... That's better. Here we go. I love this brush. It's super soft. It glides effort effortlessly. And it just feels super smooth on the skin. It's just, oh, love it. Let's zoom you in and let's move on to the eye. So for eyes and eyebrows today, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro Forever Flawless Eyes Palette. It looks like this. It's a really, really good dupe of the Jeffree Star Blue Blood as it's got all of the dark blues, the pale blues, the gorgeous metallic golds and the nice beige transition shades as well. Amazing. And so I'm going to just start and what I'm going to do is going to kind of work on some deeper blue first and buff that out and then from going from the darker shades, I'm going to buff out into the lighter and the transition. I'm going to be backwards to again. Today's a video of trying new products, new things, new everything, yes. So first thing, I'm going to go in with the shade Antarctic. Using the same brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Iceberg, which is a really vibrant royal blue matte shade. And I'm going to try and build that just underneath here and see if that's going to add any more depth. I'm 
I have forgotten just how pigmented this palette is. It's absolutely gorgeous and the colours are blending in like a bloody dream. It's fantastic. I'm going to go in with a really fluffy, fluffy brush now and just to kind of diffuse the edges a little bit with the colour Crystal. So I'm doing a mixture of motions. I'm doing a mixture of kind of patting on the pigment and then buffing in in circular motions. But also, whenever you're going over your eyebrows and if you're worried it's going to pick up the glue or the prosade or anything, then you can go in a very, very gentle sweeping motion, but just be very careful it doesn't start to pick up all of the glue and all that hard work that you've done already. I'm going to use the shade crystal and bring it further down into my contour of my nose as well, and I maybe start to pat it in a little bit into the um, contours of my cheeks as well. I'm going to use the same three colours and I'm actually going to go on underneath my eye to kind of create a bit of symmetry underneath ready before I go in with my liners and stuff. I'm going to take a small skinny defined brush and go in with the, one of the darker shades and they're called H2O just to kind of pack in on the bridge of this line here I've made underneath my eye just to see if that can kind of add a little bit more depth there as well. Amazing. Now I'm going to cut my crease and add on a quick liner and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got this at the moment guys. What I did, I kind of went in with a mixture of the Turquoise Breeze Cream Liner but also a shade called Ocean and used that to kind of create the liner rather than having a black liner, which is a little bit different, a bit new. Um, cut the crease with some white, filled in the eyebrows with the mirroring colours that were in the eyeshadow palette and now I'm going to go in with some highlight. I'm sticking in the same palette as before, but I'm going to use the shade Cool and the Jacqueline Hill 09 brush, which is the kind of a highlight brush. And I'm going to really kind of put it here on the tip of my nose or where the highlight should go. We'll see how it reacts, see how it does. So I'm just going to go off camera now, put on the last final bits of details, a lash, uh, fill in my lip, ombre it out with some of the shadows that are in the Revolution palette, and yeah, we'll be back for the final look. So here is the final look. I'm feeling my little mermaid fantasy. She's a little bit hydrated. Under the sea. This wig is everything, girl. She is from Webster Wigs. I'll put the link down below if you case you want to check them out. They're fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. So tune in next time where I'm gonna focus on the colour purple. And that'll be the last video of the rainbow. I might continue this series because I like colour if you can't tell. Feel free to check me out on Instagram as well. I'll put my Instagram handle down below. Yeah, click like, subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell whenever I want in a blue moon make my videos. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.